Today, Pioneer DJ announced a brand new killer standalone DJ system and controller that leaves very little daylight between it and the upper end CDJ Nexus setup that it's meant to emulate that's used by pro DJs all around the world. Today we're going to talk about what this new 4-channel system from Pioneer really brings to the table, the value it brings to you, and uh, why you might want to consider it as a DJ. I'm David Michael, host of the Passionate DJ Podcast, and I'm glad to be here on the DJ Hookup talking about the brand new Pioneer XDJXZ. Introducing the Pioneer XDJ-XZ, a four-channel independent DJ system and controller which combines the features of the company's best gear with flexible media and software options, putting lots of advanced features right at your fingertips. Now at a glance, it's a Nexus-like setup which has full-size jog wheels, intuitive jog displays, and 14 beat effects, plus six sound color effects straight off the iconic DJM 900 Nexus 2 mixer. Now while it mimics a CDJ and 900 Nexus setup to an astonishing degree, it also consolidates it into a single board with grab handles which avoids the wires, the space, and the complication of a full Nexus rig. Now early next year, Pioneer is bringing full Serato DJ functionality, a feature which nearly doubles its appeal. The XDJ XZ is available now from $22.99 US dollars, so let's explore some of its most interesting features. Now furthering Pioneer's effort to let DJs play however they want, the XDJ XZ supports loads of ways to get your mixing done. For example, you can play tracks off of Rekordbox prepared USB devices, just like a CDJ Nexus setup. You can connect to Rekordbox DJ software on your laptop and use it like a DJ controller. You can use Link Export Mode with Rekordbox DJ, which seems to be a sort of hybrid mode where tracks play on standalone hardware but the library is accessed from your laptop. You can connect external sources such as turntables or CDJs to channels 3 and 4, and you can use it as a fully featured Serato DJ controller coming early 2020. Three USB inputs, external RCA connections, and robust software support make things like DJ changeovers or B2B mixing a breeze. Now on top of all this, the XDJ XZ is the first standalone DJ unit to feature Pro DJ Link. Now this system allows Pioneer DJ hardware to share music, track data, and sync information over a standard network cable. Now this means that you could, for example, link up a set of external CDJs and browse or sync that audio into your mix with the XZ acting as the main hub. Now those external sources don't have to be digital, however. In fact, if you want to, you can plug into channels 3 and 4, uh, phono inputs, and connect up your turntables for all of the analog goodness that your heart desires. Plus, it will support both Rekordbox DVS and Serato DVS when the Serato functionality is added for those of you who prefer to use timecode records. Both of those, however, will need to be licensed separately. Now it should be noted that much like other standalone DJ systems, the XDJ XZ will play two channels from standalone USB, but it can use channels 3 and 4 to mix in other sources. Now when used as a DJ controller in combination with your laptop and Rekordbox or Serato, all four channels are available for digital mixing. Now at this point it probably goes without saying, but the XDJ XZ comes equipped with a professional audio interface that gives high quality output from its main outs. The XZ gives you more control than most DJ controllers when it comes to shaping the way your final mix sounds. Now not only do you have a typical 3-band EQ for each channel, but you also get a 3-band master EQ and 3-band mic EQs. This makes it ideal for mobile DJs who set up full sound rigs in venues of varied size and acoustical quality. Now for each of its two mic inputs, a clear audio signal is provided even with a high input level. The unit has a built-in feedback reducer function for the microphones, and this helps to lessen squealing. Again, another helpful feature for mobile DJs or really anybody who does any mic work. Now on top of the unit, the 7-inch LCD touchscreen joins forces with the center on-jog displays to make for a very intuitive mixing that keeps your eyes out of the laptop, whether or not you're actually using one. In the middle of each jog wheel, there's a small round display, similar to that scene on the DDJ-1000, and it shows stuff like track position, BPM, hot cues, and other relevant information to the song loaded in that deck. This frees up the beautiful center LCD touchscreen for track browsing and waveform displaying duties. And presumably, all this visual feedback will work appropriately with Serato DJ when that feature is added early next year. 
And of course the high quality performance pads, there's eight under each deck, allow you to set cues, loops, and other software specific features, and they provide RGB multicolored feedback. So let's talk about who this thing is for. Standalone and hybrid DJ systems are hitting the scene quickly and they seem to be gaining traction. One hesitates before shelling out over two grand for a piece of DJ gear, but it doesn't take too long to see the value here. This is the closest replication of a full Pioneer Nexus setup I've ever seen, and the setup it seeks to clone costs over $6,000. And when you take what people already like, simplify it, charge half, and then double your market by partnering with the next biggest DJ platform, well, you've got yourself a winning recipe. Mobile DJs will be especially happy with sensible features that help make weddings and corporate gigs sound exactly right for the venue. The ability to set several layers of EQ before and on the final mix is a very nice professional touch. Now, club and resident DJs will appreciate the robust set of features, the exact match set of effects to the DJM 900 Nexus, and the fact that there's little reason to get an quote-unquote actual CDJ setup unless you're a promoter that has to fulfill riders. Now, of course, you'll be immediately tempted to compare the XDJ XZ to two other standalone DJ systems, namely Pioneer's own XDJ RX2 and the Denon DJ Prime 4. Now, the RX2 makes a great choice if you have a similar desire for a Nexus like experience, but want or accept a somewhat simplified experience and you only want to mix in two channels. Now, feature for feature, it's really hard to argue against the extreme value of the Prime 4. And if you want something off the beaten path, which crams as many features into one small price point as possible, Denon may make more sense for you. But let's face it, Pioneer still sets the standard and people want to mix on pro gear. The XZ looks every bit as professional and well-built as the hardware it seeks to emulate, and uh, it really provides a good alternative to that more expensive hardware and with added value for Serato users, or, you know, platform agnostic people who kind of ride the fence, it's easy to see where Pioneer's head is at. It's nearly everything that people are asking for. So in a nutshell, that's the new Pioneer XDJXZ, and it really looks to be a pretty great unit. Now, some people are gonna think it's quite expensive, but really when you break it down, the value is definitely there. It really makes a lot of sense. It's a much cheaper option to get basically a clone of that Nexus setup. It really is pretty interesting to see where the DJ industry is going with all of this sort of standalone hardware. Now if you think that this might be the new piece of gear for you, go to the link in the description and order yours right away. Uh, you can also follow us here on the YouTube channel at the DJ Hookup for upcoming full reviews and stuff as soon as we can get our hands on the unit and spend some time with it. And we'll also probably be discussing it on my show, The Passionate DJ Podcast. Podcast, which you can check out at passionatedj.com. I'm David Michael. Thank you so much. This is the DJ Hookup. Take care.